And now you want to imagine that your head is like a bowling ball. It's very heavy and you're going to slowly let your head drop and you're going to go down one vertebrae at a time. Now if you have a problem with your back, you'll notice that Nicole on the left is staying upright. She's putting all her weight on her left leg and using her right leg only for balancing. And just slowly go up and down. And then when that leg feels tired, switch over to the other leg and go up and down. This is another way to assist in grounding and centering if you have a problem with your back of going rolling down the way Maggie has. So while you're hanging down and you'll notice that Maggie is slowly bending and flexing her legs, notice how you feel. Remember to keep your head loose. We have a tendency to hold our head tight, so let that go. And now slowly start to come up one vertebrae at a time. Slowly, slowly, with your head being the very last thing to come up. Now go back to the basic alignment position. Go ahead and bring your arms up and back into a bow. And it's important to tuck your tailbone in a bit so that you can support your back. So tuck that in as you're arching back. And you might begin to vibrate or shake a little bit and just see what you tell yourself about this shaking. See if you can just allow it to be there. Let the vibration move through your body. And remember to keep breathing, not to hold your breath, but to keep breathing. And you'll also notice that they're looking slightly upward. You don't want to arch your neck too much because it can hurt your neck. So just sort of look out and upward. Now just go back to the basic hanging over grounding position. And you'll notice we're going to do bending and flexing of the knees again. And Maggie's going to go at a little faster pace to match her energy. And Nicole will be moving a bit slower. So try to match this to your pace. It's not about competing, it's about you matching what you need to do this particular day. And each day may be slightly different for you depending on your energy level that day. Remember to keep your neck loose and your head down. Now we're going to swing up. We're going to go up and down, almost like when you were a child on a swing, up and down. And you'll notice again, Nicole will do this more slowly and gently, while Maggie will be doing this more vigorously. And this is to match your energy. So some days you might feel like you can do it more vigorously than others. Again, pay attention to your pace and the signals that you get from your body. Now as you go down, the next time you come up, we're going to go into a different bow. Don't forget to breathe. Make fists and put them in the small of your back. 
and this you're going to feel more of a stretch across your chest again keeping your knees bent down into your legs feel your feet breathing that deep relaxed breathing and again there might be more vibration just notice what you tell yourself as you feel the vibration or shaking if you can just allow it to be there taking deep breaths feel the stretch keeping your knees relaxed and feeling the energy moving down and the tension moving down and out down and out now come back into your lined position feet parallel again make sure that your feet are parallel again it might feel pigeon toed and check in with yourself notice your breathing your breathing should be deeper notice if there's any place of tension in your body if you have any cramping notice any vibration that you're aware of again just check in with yourself on a body level now just go back to the basic hanging over grounding position